What's up guys, Express here, back with another tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we'll make a YouTube banner. YouTube banner. So I created this, this is something simple. PSD will be available if this video hits 150 likes. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Every shortcut will be in the left corner, so you can see what I'm pressing. The only thing you wanna do in a YouTube banner is of course, the middle of the banner. Also in the PayHip store, this template will be available. This is just the size of YouTube as well with this white bar so you know and uh, what space you have to fill in and what you don't have to fill in. It's 2560 on 1440 with a 72 pixels. So I'm gonna use some Japanese fonts. Also, if you need more Japanese fonts, I have a great video on Japanese fonts uh, also on my channel that you can check out. Uh, you can do gray or you can do like a black color as well. I, I rather do gray for this kind of style. You can type whatever you want. Uh, I think I'm gonna take design, gonna copy that Japanese text with a control C. You select the text tool, you click once on your on your file, press control V. I wanted to have the bit special, so I'm going to separate every single character from the text. So I'm going to have this one, I'm gonna control J, I'm going to paste it once again, remove the back side again, and there you go, they're all separate now. Also, the font that I'm using is uh, Reggae One will be in the link in the description if you want to download that as well. I've taken the first one, Ctrl T to rotate it with the mouse, then I place it somewhere there. Then I've taken the second one, Ctrl T as well, hold an Alt, turn it a bit as well, made it a bit smaller so it will fit ne neatly uh, under the first one. I'm going to move it a bit with the arrow keys like so. And then I've taken the other one, um, and then we have my little stripe at the end like that. I'm going also okay, hit Ctrl T, make it a bit smaller like so and there you have it it's a bit customized but you know it, it just looks better in that way so what you want to do that is select everything so you want to click on the first layer then hold in shift and click on the bottom one and they're all selected click on this little map so they're all neatly in a little map then hit ctrl t to move them um, ctrl j ctrl e going to make the bottom one more visible uh, and then of course you can change the color but i'm going to keep it that way i'm going to give it a stroke a i'm going to give it a black stroke but not too black then i'm going to give it another stroke if you don't have two strokes press this little plus button and then you have two strokes then i'm going to chain take my same red color of the previous banner that's that color if you want the same color copy this code there you go that's it that's all i'm going to do very basic but it looks nice in my opinion smaller again okay uh, what you want to do then is ctrl j to duplicate the layer and what you want to do is May right click and rasterize layer style. So double click again and give it the color overlay of the same black color that you did before. Hit Ctrl T again and move, uh, make it just smaller like so. Then what you can do, but you don't have to do it, you can make it 3D. So what I do and how we'll make it 3D is I'm making the top layer a bit less visible, making a new layer be between the top layer and the bottom layer. What I do then is go to my polygon lasso tool, take the same color of the background color and you see this edge, I connect it to the other edge. I, and then make a little circle or like area and fill it in. You don't have to do that in this tutorial, but I'm just going to do that because it looks better, nicer. I've done this a lot before. I'm going to speed this process up. If you don't know how to make 3D text, I have a lot of different tutorials on how to make 3D text. Okay, so there you go, everything is selected. And what you wanna do is just make the opacity full again. And then you have a nice clean, clean looking 3D text. Very easy, very simple. Uh, so what you want to do then is of course duplicate the text again and what i want to do is put it below everything right click again rasterize layer style double click on it and give it a gray overlay so something gray but a bit darker than the background and also make that hit with the ctrl t and make that a bit bigger like so and what i want to do with that hit right again rasterize layer style i want to go to filter blur gaussian blur I want to blur it around 1 point or 2.1 then I want to go to filter noise add a bit of noise not too much something like 1.5 will be just fine okay what I've done then I have uh, used the same Japanese font but I've put it uh, a couple of times behind the text so I'm gonna and then we have some couple of Japanese fonts of course that we want in the background if you don't have Japanese fonts you can always check out my video I'm going to use a um, thick one and also going to use the same black color so I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and I'm going to put it behind the text like so. You can make it a bit smaller, you can make it a bit bigger. It's whatever you want. I'm going to duplicate that same one. 
I'm going to change the font again to another Japanese font like so. Then I'm going to double click on the layer and open up the layer style. I'm going to remove the fill opacity, put a stroke and the same color of the red, something like that. Okay, then I'm going to hit Ctrl T and going to put that behind the text as well. We're going to hit press Alt and make it a bit smaller like so. So we just have a couple of layers um, of text behind the main text. I think that's a nice look. Uh, I think that's a really nice uh, ID for like a nice header, banner, whatever. So I'm going to do that one more time, but just with one specific uh, um, Japanese character, maybe the first one. I'm going to choose a different font again. Maybe this take this yellow again and make it uh, bigger like so and put it in the back. Maybe like this, put it below everything. There you go. I think that has also a really nice look. And what I did as well in the in the preview or in the first design, I have taken my circle elliptic tool. I went to the middle, I pressed shift and alt and made a nice little circle with the red purple color. And what I did then is double click that circle, went to outer glow and gave it a nice red outer glow. But let's put it on normal, maybe the opacity a bit less and the size also a bit less. And a little bit of noise, maybe six noise. We're going to do a little bit of a background, so we're going to make a new layer. Press this little plus, of course, below every single layer. We're going to take our little uh, polygon lasso tool again. I'm going to just do something like this. We're going to change our color to the same black, I guess. I fill that in with the alt backspace. Then we're going to do the same thing again, like so. But this time we're going to fill that in with the same yellow like so and then we're going to do the same thing um, for the top one so we're going to do something like here to there to there i guess yeah something like that and we're going to fill that in with the same red so we have our three colors and i'm going to do the same thing like so but this time i'm going to fill that in with the black backspace there you go and we have a nice simple background okay if you want to do more uh, of them as well you can do more but I think uh, it looks great like that uh, we're going to add a little bit of simplistic text you can of course add your own name but you can um, type whatever you want just take a simple font uh, I'm going to take uh, Ariel you just want to type somewhere different uh, make sure everything is set to normal make the size really small and type your name uh, express for my case of course but of course type your own name make it really small right really not too small but really nice and you can add that like this I think that looks and uh, then we're going to add some circles because uh, we have a nice little circle in the background so we're going to add a bit more so make a layer below the big circle take of course the same color as the main circle and just add a bit of circles next to everything just to add some more depth um, to the background just that it's not too bland and everything doesn't have to be a lot but just a couple like so and then we're going to change the color and do some white circles as well I think would fit really nicely with this smaller one so I'm making a circle with um, holding an alt and shift and then I'm just quickly filling them in with alt backspace you can add more if you want but you don't you don't you don't really have to you don't you don't you, uh, went to the rectangle marquee tool made a new layer and just made a really thin rectangle fill that in with the black color of course hit ctrl t holding in shift so it will turn 30 degrees and then I just put them right in the middle like so and then I copy them and I'm like so then I copy them again and then I'm going to place them something around here there you go I think it has a nice touch to it I don't know it just looks great in my opinion but it's up to you uh, of course um, the last thing I want to do is of course the Japanese text again we're going to take that we're going to select it and we're going to make it really big massive like so we're going to move that all the way back below everything we're going to double click on that we're going to fill, remove the fill opacity and put a stroke and we're going to put a white stroke on that, like so. So yeah, what I did then, I went to my Express Anime Pack, uh, it's free in the link in the description. Um, and I have taken these little stars and I put them somewhere, uh, I put them everywhere around the text. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I think it has a nice little 
look through it, but it's up to you really what you want to do with it uh, in the future, of course. If you want to add an anime render or add a, another character, a game character, it's up to you what you want to do with it. I think it just looks nice. Just add a couple of them, not too much. Yeah, you can add more uh, Japanese text in the background like I did in my preview, but it's up to you really what you want to do with it. Uh, what I did then is just some color correction. You can also go to invert, go to hue and saturation, change the color back to um, red, and then you have your background, of course, um, black and everything is uh, a different color. I think that also looks really nice in my opinion. Um, it's up to you really what, how you want, what theme you want to go for and everything. Uh, then I just went to brightness and contrast, pop the contrast a bit up, pop the brightness a bit up. I didn't touch any um, camera raw filters just for this uh, tutorial purpose. Went to vibrance, pop up the vibrance just a tad, not too much, um, and saturation as well. Then I went to hue and saturation, you can change the color to whatever you want. But uh, honestly, I think um, red is looking the best. I don't know, it's up to you what you want to do with it. You can add a great map, you can add a hue and saturation. But that's basically it for the tutorial. Um, it's really quick, really uh, simple. Um, so if you want to do this yourself, I would definitely do it. Uh, but spice it up a bit, add your own stuff to it. Add maybe an anime render if you want that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll make something great. And I hope you stay tuned for the next Japanese fonts video. That will be probably the next one after this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.